My name is Kate Murphy. I am the senior community organizer with Columbia Riverkeeper. We work with river communities. We work to protect what people love, and that means cleaning up pollution. It means preventing contamination. Today, I am standing near Bradford Island, which is part of the Bonneville Dam complex. It's a pretty important area. It's really beautiful, but beneath the water, there's a toxic Superfund site on the Columbia River. This island has been a place of incredible importance to tribal members. Um, it provides sustenance. It's where they've lived. It's where they got their food from and practiced their culture. There's fishing villages that are dotting the river. There's a lot of fish that are caught for bringing back to the longhouses and the shaker churches to um, provide for ceremonial uses. Beginning in the 1930s, the Army Corps used the area for chemical and equipment storage, as well as dumping waste into areas like Bradford Island and the surrounding waters. The result is a very contaminated area that's toxic to fish and to humans. There's a lot of different types of waste dumped in this area, from mechanical equipment to mercury, filled light bulbs and ballasts that were thrown off the cliffside into the water. A lot of the things that were dumped contained harmful chemicals and oils. There's a lot of different contaminants that are of concern, but a primary concern at this site are the polychlorinated biphenyls, also known as PCBs. Those pieces of electrical equipment were just dumped in the river hole with the oil in them and over decades rusted out and corroded out. And so those oils leaked out of that equipment. It's not something we can see. It's an incredibly beautiful area mixed with an incredibly industrial area. <laughs> PCBs are chemicals that don't really break down easily in the environment. So when they get into the sediment in the river, they become part of the food chain. As the next organism and the next organism and then us, as we eat them, that concentration of PCBs in that organism's tissue keeps getting higher and higher and higher. And by the time that humans start eating those fish, the concentration levels in the fish tissues can be extremely high. In fact, they are 10 times higher than the contamination in the Hudson River, which is where Monsanto made PCBs. PCB exposure can cause a lot of different types of negative health outcomes. They are cancer causing, so a lot of different body systems can be affected. And those most at risk are children, the elderly, as well as pregnant people or people who are breastfeeding. Columbia River Keeper has been instrumental in getting the word out to really eat the migratory fish like salmon, shad, and steelhead are still considered healthy choices. And getting that word out in multiple languages because there's a lot of communities in this area that aren't English as a first language. It's really important that people understand that in this area from Bonneville Dam, one mile upstream to Ruckle Creek, there's a do not eat fish advisory for the resident fish, the fish that live here year round. And that's really significant. A lot of fish advisories talk about only eating a certain amount or limiting your consumption. But in this particular area, it is do not eat the fish that live here year round. That is how concerning the PCB contamination is. What we've found over the years, um, Yakima Nation's been involved in this site since about 2005, is that good science hasn't always been practiced, good data hasn't always been collected, and regulations have been interpreted very loosely. Columbia Riverkeeper believes that people deserve to catch fish that are safe to feed their families. So we're working really hard in solidarity with Yakima Nation and the Oregon and Washington Departments of Health to make sure that the public is aware of the contamination in this area and what they can do to protect themselves. We really want cleanup, right? But we want it to be a quality cleanup. We want it to be a protective cleanup. And we want it to be rapid because people are being exposed today. It has been decades that we've been waiting for this area to be cleaned up. And every day that goes by, people are being exposed to contamination. Cleanup is completely within reach. It's possible. We hope you will join us in standing with tribes to demand cleanup from the Army Corps of Engineers. You can learn more by going to our website at ClumbiaRiverKeeper.org.